Welcome to another special feature, this time focusing on Star Wars Conquest, the New Order edition. If you'd like to download the mod, there is a link in the description. I absolutely love the Star Wars Conquest mods, and there are a number of different variations. And I decided, hey, okay, this is a pretty new one, so we're going to test it out and see exactly what's going on. Now, obviously, in this one... There actually aren't, as you can see right here, it actually says, this version does not have a lot of Jedi or Sith, nor would you find Jedi Sith troops and weapons. This is because I want to do force powers and force training right. The only characters that have force powers for now are Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Otherwise, no one has any force powers or anything like that. So... That's a pretty interesting slant to go on it. Obviously, the mod creator is still going to be doing work on this mod, and as a result, is going to be adding, you know, lightsabers and, you know, various other things into it. So we've got the classic amount of different races that you can select from here that is, uh, you know, standard for the sort of Star Wars Conquest thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually unsure what to, what to go for right now. I, um, you know, for some reason, I'm always drawn towards droids, Mainly because I really enjoy all of the droid designs that they have in the movies and things like that. And I'm not even I'm not even just talking about R2D2 or C3PO right here. I'm talking about like the assassin droids and even the maintenance droids have really cool kind of designs to them. And that's usually the reason why I <laughs> why I lean towards that. If they had lightsabers and Jedi powers and things like that in this. I'd probably be a Jawa because I, I think one of my most favorite times playing one of the Star Wars Conquest mods or a Star Wars themed mod at the very least was playing as a Jawa Jedi, which was really fun. But I think for this one, we're going to play, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna play as a droid and we're going to be playing as a droid bounty hunter. Let's do something like that. And we're going to go and play with the Hut Cartel. That seems like a pretty fun idea. Okay, start to navigate the galaxy. What are we going to call ourselves? Um, I don't even... Uh, are we... Am I literally going to do this? Am I literally... Am I literally going to do this? Yes, I think I am. <laughs> that is kind of hilarious. Uh, yeah, we're going to use rifles. Why not? We're going to use rifles and... Obviously, there's no point in me doing deflection, is there? Increases the chance of deflecting a bolt with a lightsaber or an energy shield. So if I had an energy shield, then obviously that would make sense. But as it stands, I don't think I really need to worry about that too much. And I guess we'll just go for some more leadership. And we'll probably go for... You know what? Because we're going to use rifles and things like that. We probably want to go for tactics... And map speed is going to be really useful as well. So basically what we want to do is we want to get a huge amount of weapon master skill. And a good amount of power strike as well. So we're just going to go for 12 in that. And we're just going to get some power strike. And that's what we're going to go for. I think it's probably not going to work out too well. As you can see, there's not that much, actually none, customization or anything like that. But I don't, I don't really need customization with my droids. Because I think it's just fun. Anyway. A rival gang has been throwing their weight around. Your boss initiated a fight with rival gang's boss, and you are to fight it out on the square to see who owns this territory. So I can either do this, or I, I don't have to. I don't have to do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, oh yeah. You should also know that there is no music in this video. Now, the reason why there's no music is obvious, obviously, because it is extremely copyrighted. There's no way I'm going to get away with that, so... Yeah, if you do download download the mod, there is classic Star Wars music running all throughout, and you're going to have a grand old time. But as it stands, this video is not going to have any Star Wars music in it. So let us drive out the competition and see exactly what's going on with our droid. Okay, so here we are. And uh, I, have, I have some hut militia right here, and are these guys wanting to kill us? No. Okay, so who, who wants to kill us? Oh, those guys. But look at the surroundings. Our surroundings are already fantastic. It's a pistol. Oh, dear. Should have specced into pistol proficiency, shouldn't I? That probably would have made sense. Okay, I did some damage to the shield, but that's not really going to help us. Okay, there we go. That guy's dead. Okay, so you can see that these guys actually have energy shields. So that's the reason why, obviously, you have the opportunity to you know, spec into deflection and things like that. I think that's really cool. Unfortunately, these guys are Gamorians, and... Uh, can, I, can I kill this guy? 
Maybe I can kill this guy. The reloading animation is really fun too, because you can reload relatively quickly. And, oh dear. Hello. Yeah, there we go. Take out that Gamorrean. Oh, these guys are really harsh because they have such supreme shielding. But as you can see right there, oh yeah, we're doing some good damage. We're doing some good damage. I'm going to die soon though, I think. Yep, I am dead. Oh well, never mind. I did actually pretty okay. And as you can see, there is actually a dodge command as well. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later on too. But... As it stands, there it is. Okay, so the Hut Cartel is making peace <laughs> and declaring war against people. Jabba the Hut wishes to inform me that the Lords of Hut Cartel will be gathering for a feast. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Okay, so we are around Tatooine, of course, and we're, we're now going to... Ooh, I could join the tournament if I wanted to. Can go into the bank, as you can see, you can take a loan of a thousand credits, if you so desire. And I think that would be a pretty cool idea. But as it obviously is a special feature, we're going to try and explore some of the extra things that you can do. For example, there are a lot of different laser rifles that you can get, which is actually really awesome. I like that a lot. I had a vibro axe as well, so technically I could have used that. But obviously I decided not to for whatever reason. All right, so... Hmm. These are actually really cool. These are actually really cool. Look at that. There's actually medium energy shields as well. I wouldn't mind getting an energy shield, actually, but I only have 350 credits, so that's not going to work. But we could go into the cantina. Obviously, the cantina is very, very classic indeed. And, uh, yeah, there's Gamorians you can speak to. You can speak to Kira right here. You don't look like the spacer type. I'm a Jedi. Well, I'm not really a Jedi. In fact, I'm not entirely sure if I am anything of the sort at all. But I do know that if I concentrate very hard on something, I think I can make it move. I spent a whole year practicing very hard. See? Look at your glass. Oh, well, uh, it didn't work that time, but I promise I've done it many times before. <laughs> okay, come on, just join me then. Yeah, so she joins for free, which is fantastic. So maybe she'll become our medic or something along those lines. Really pleased to see Geonotions in here as well. Trandoshans, Wookiees, and all that sort of thing. They are very, very cool to see. And uh, there's a Ransom Broker as well. And there's also a guy called Dav Foss. You're a captain, right? I saw your ship land. She's a nice piece of work, Captain, but that was one of the clumsiest landings I've ever seen. I've got a proposition. I'm a pilot navigator and one of the best you'll ever see. I joined the Empire like any good pilot. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, I could definitely use a pilot. Here's 300 credits. Okay, sure, you can take the credits. I think I might be able to make some money elsewhere. I'm thinking we might want to go into the arena, see if we can make some money here. I'm not entirely sure how effective this is going to be, but we'll, we'll try it out. Can I join too? That's what I'm going to do. All right. Oh, cool. Look at this. I love the, the droid bodies that they have modeled here as well. I really like that. I mean, Star Wars Conquest is a fantastic mod. It really is. So, unfortunately, I do have a staff, which is not exactly great. But, well, it's the best I can do right now. And uh, hopefully I will be able to do something here. But you can hear that the droid actually has his own... Uh, his own, like, sound effects and things as well. Oh, I really like that. Yes, he says, I will neutralize them, and, you know, in the classic droid voice. So that is really cool, too. And it seems like there's only 40 enemies to eliminate here, so I think I should be able to win. But obviously I am using a polearm, and I have absolutely awful polearm proficiency. You could change your weapon before going in here. I seem to uh, have seen that on the screen just before heading in here, which is pretty cool. So if you want to, you can. I'm actually going to equip this. And we're doing some good damage with this one, actually. So I'm pretty happy that I expect into Power Strike just a little bit, because obviously that makes all the difference. And I'm actually wondering whether I'm even going to be able to survive here. Oh, well, there we go. It seems like I was eliminated by that veteran fighter. I did beat 23 enemies, though, so we're going to see exactly how much money I gained for that. 80 credits. That's actually not even that bad. What about the tournaments? Oh, there is actually a tournament going on in Tatooine right now. So technically I could do that if I wanted to. So I could sell this weapon right here. 
but I am actually wondering whether one of my companions is going to need that. So maybe it would be an idea to take a look at Kira. Let's have a look at her skills. She has pretty much 40 in basically everything. She's got power throw. Okay, so she has power throw. Well, that's interesting. Not entirely sure what she can use with that. She is already using a pistol of some kind. It's not exactly bad either. Hmm. Seems pretty seems pretty decent actually. And let's see what Dav Foss is actually using as well. He's actually using something relatively similar, but I'm gonna give him this because it is a straight upgrade. And uh, maybe he'll be a little bit better at combat. As you can see, he has a little bit better stats for that. And uh, we're actually gonna level ourselves up a little bit here. So what am I gonna spec into? Well, I guess I'm gonna spec into intelligence so that we can actually get a little bit more in the way of stats and indeed health which is going to help us out and uh you know what you know what let's have a look at the oh wow there's a whole bunch of stuff here yeah let's have a look at the star wars conquest mod options so you can see here that you can also form army rotates to face enemy center and formation prevent ai from taking defensive positions which is actually really cool because that means that they're always going to be moving towards you so you don't have to be annoyed with them standing away and all that sort of stuff and we also have auto fire weapons damage reduction so auto fire weapons deal less damage if you want them to you can change that, obviously. You can turn it completely off if you want. Because on another character of mine that I created in this mod, I had a fully automatic, basically like a minigun laser sort of thing, which was just crazy. And uh, it was basically able to like mow down everyone. But obviously, it has really bad accuracy. And obviously, it deals less damage thanks to that option. Then obviously, we have diplomacy here, classic classic diplomacy, and you have AI changes, economics, and so on and so forth, disable companion complaints. Then we have a disguise system as well, so you can actually have a look here. This option enables a more complex disguise system while entering hostile centers, in other words, towns and things like that, which I think is really cool. And uh, yeah, that's basically that. Ooh. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, horse culling. So that basically means it just makes horses run away. Just makes horses run away if they are riderless for quite some time, which I think is a pretty nice idea. Then obviously you could change the name of your party, select a book to read and so on and so forth. You can even review the troops if you want. So you can even review the troops that you have in uh, in in your army and things like that. And I can even cheer by by pressing space, which is kind of funny. Anyway, that is all that you can do in... There's actually auto loot as well. It requires inventory management or looting at rank 2. That's cool. I should probably do something about that. Then, of course, you can review troop trees. You can review troop trees. I love troop trees whenever there's troop trees. I don't know how many more times I'm going to say troop trees, but I love it when they have that option in a mod. It is just making everything so, so much easier. So you have the Hut Cartel, Rebel Alliance, Galactic Empire, of course. Hut Cartel is most likely not going to have extremely powerful units, but it's kind of thematically pretty cool for my character as uh, as we're playing it so then obviously you have the character report we have well we're actually a lord of the hut cartel which is pretty cool 250 renown and all that wonderful stuff and do i actually own anything by the way do i no i have no fiefs oh that's that's disappointing isn't it okay so let's join the tournament place a bet on myself not really going to be getting that much money and we are now obviously riding speeders and things like that too so let's see what we can do here okay i can do some damage but I was actually hoping that I would be able to maybe use a, well, maybe use a blaster or something. But it seems like that is not going to be happening for me at the moment. There we go. Okay, so we eliminated those guys. That's nice. I have no more money, so I'm basically not going to be getting anything for the victory here in the tournament. But it's a nice idea so you can actually see exactly what's going on here. You can actually see, you know, the, the classic layout for the tournament. And, uh, yeah, I I mean, here's the thing. If you haven't played Star Wars Conquest ever before, this is a really cool take on it because they tend to focus much more on, well, less on Jedi, less on Sith, and much more on actual troop fights. And I think that's pretty cool because then you're going to be seeing many different ways of achieving victory. So you don't actually... You know, because usually everyone's going to be like, oh, yes, I must definitely be a Jedi or a Sith or whatever. And it's really cool to have 
a little bit of a different slant on things. And I think that's really nice. Unfortunately, it seems like I can't see the last remaining enemy. I'll just search around a bit. All right, so there we go. I was able to win the tournament at Tatooine. Uh, it wasn't that difficult because it seems like most of the fighters were just regulars and they were not champions or anything like that. So yeah, we did get a small amount of cash. Nothing really to, you know, be too happy about, but it was nice enough that we were able to win in the first place. So let's meet with the planet administrator, who is, of course, the guild master. And maybe I can buy something? I don't think I can buy anything, to be honest. Uh, Weavery and Dye Works. Yeah, well, that would obviously be the best, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to make anything like that. Do you have a job for me? Uh, preying on caravans, troublesome bandits. Sure, I'll hunt down the troublesome bandits. I hate this quest, but I'm going to try. Oh, there, there they are. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so can I... Can I... Oh, I want to recruit some people. Oh, you know that? I want to... I want to recruit some people. Can I... Oh, I, I'm going to lose track of them, aren't I? Let's face it. Oh, there's actually another tournament going on here as well. Okay, you know what? Let's go to Tatooine's Moon real fast. Get some uh, get some hut militia. And I will try to track them down. All right, so it is now time for us to do... A little bit of siege. Oh yes, a little bit of siege. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hut, bounty hunters, palace guards, and commandos all the way into... Uh, shall, we, shall we attack the rebels or shall we attack the empire? Not entirely sure actually. So we'll see exactly what's going to happen after this. But I just wanted to show you that this is a hut commando. These guys are crazy good. They've got 9 in Iron Flesh, 73 HP. Pretty decent weapon proficiencies as well, and we're going to see exactly how they do in just a second. Alright, so here we go. We are laying siege to Dagobah, and we're going to be leading our soldiers in an assault. Now, this is obviously just as just as basically a, uh, a demonstration, really, on how the sieges play out. These guys do not have energy shields, which I am extremely pleased about, because that means I can basically just go to town on them. And Oh, Yoda's here? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, so Yoda is also here, because of course he is. Uh, this is his This is his planet, after all. I'm so terribly sorry, Yoda. I mean, sorry I am, yes. Uh, mm, that didn't really work. Oh, well, never mind. The point is, is that, you know, uh, you know the way he speaks. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, hopefully, uh, wow, he's he's actually looking pretty cool. He is looking pretty cool. And I don't even know if anyone is going to be able to even take him out. But we have, look at this, I could do a roll. Oh, yeah, you, you couldn't even see that because I was actually not, you know, in third person. But you can actually do rolls in this, which in my opinion is amazing. And, oh, I'm dead. No, I wanted to play more. Oh, that's sad. Okay, well, whatever the case, you can now obviously have the after-death camera. The after-death camera is not very good, I gotta say. And, uh, eh, I mean, that's the thing. It's usable, you know, it's usable. But it is obviously far from being one of the best that I have seen. So... Maybe that's maybe that's something that the mod creator could do something about. I don't know whether it's easy to change or whether it's even something that is even necessary to change. But as it stands, there we have it. We've actually successfully captured Dagobah and it seems like we were able to take out Yoda. I'm so I'm so so sorry about that. Okay, so we have defeated the enemy. 17 renown, 10 morale. Very nice indeed. We did take quite a few casualties, but we were able to defeat them. And now, oh dear. Yoda is actually using real abilities against us. Real force abilities. This is bad. Uh, oh, he got him. He got him. He knocked him unconscious. Okay, good job. Good job. <laughs> I was kind of worried about that. Okay, so roll. There it is. There's the roll. Do you see that? Yes. Uh, yeah, and you can also improve your athletic skill to reduce the cooldown on it. You can also crouch if you want to improve your accuracy, as you can see right there. Which is pretty cool. And uh, there we go. Okay, so we are victorious. 17 renown. And Yoda was able to escape. Don't I, don't I didn't really want to capture him anyway. I think he's kind of cool. So I didn't really want to do that. Anyway, we can now take all of this stuff. And I'm going to wear that armor. That armor looks extremely weird on him. But I'm going to put it on him nevertheless. 
and we have some Wookiee pelts here that we can of course sell if we want to and we have some helmets yeah we have a helmet that I <laughs> he looks silly oh yes he does I like it okay otherwise there we go and Dagobah has fallen to your troops now you have full control of the castle there is no chance he would recognize you what since you're not a sworn man of Jabba the Hutt I am I not Apparently I'm not. Apparently I am a mercenary of some kind, even though I technically am a lord, according to the notes, as you can see. Oh, wait. Doesn't actually, doesn't actually say that. Okay. Well, I thought it said it in the character options. Did it not? Did it not say it in the character options? Wait, the character report. You are a lord of the Hutt Cartel. Okay, well, apparently I did not become a lord before taking this, so unfortunately it will not go to me by the looks of things, but it's really cool that you can actually take something as large as Dagobah so incredibly early on. And this reminds me so much of playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 and playing Star Wars Empire at War as well. And if you too want to experience the nostalgia and the utter, wow, the, the utter enormity of the map, then you too can do so by visiting the link in the description and downloading the mod for yourself. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.